أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم They ask you concerning things taken as spoils of war. Say such spoils are at the disposal of Allah and the Messenger. So fear Allah and keep straight the relations between yourselves. Obey Allah and His Messenger if you do believe. For believers are those who, when Allah is mentioned, feel a tremor in their hearts, and when they hear His signs rehearsed, find their faith strengthened and put all their trust in their Lord. Who establish regular prayers and spend freely out of the gifts we have given them for sustenance. Such in truth are the believers. They have grades of dignity with their Lord and forgiveness and generous sustenance. Just as your Lord ordered you out of your house in truth, even though a party among the believers disliked it. Disputing with you concerning the truth after it was made manifest, as if they were being driven to death, and they actually saw it. Behold, Allah promised you one of the two enemy parties, that it should be yours. You wished that the one unarmed should be yours, but Allah willed to justify the truth according to His words and to cut off the roots of the unbelievers. That He might justify truth and prove falsehood false, distasteful though it be to those in guilt. Remember you implored the assistance of your Lord, and He answered you, I will assist you with a thousand of the angels, ranks on ranks. Allah made it but a message of hope and an assurance to your hearts. In any case, there is no help except from Allah, and Allah is exalted in power, wise. Remember, He covered you with a sort of drowsiness, to give you calm as from Himself, and He caused rain to descend on you from heaven, to clean you therewith, to remove from you the stain of Satan to strengthen your hearts and to plant your feet firmly therewith. Remember, your Lord inspired the angels with the message, I am with you. Give firmness to the believers. I will instill terror into the hearts of the unbelievers. Smite you above their necks and smite all their fingertips off them. This because they contended against Allah and His Messenger. If any contend against Allah and His Messenger, Allah is strict in punishment. Thus will it be said, Taste you then of the punishment, for those who resist Allah is the penalty of the fire. O you who believe, when you meet the unbelievers in hostile array, never turn your backs to them. If any do turn his back to them on such a day, unless it be in a stratagem of war, or to retreat to a troop of his own, he draws on himself the wrath of Allah, and his abode is hell, an evil refuge indeed. It is not you who slew them, it was Allah. When you threw a handful of dust, it was not your act, but Allah's, in order that he might test the believers by a gracious trial from himself. For Allah is he who hears and knows all things. That, and also because Allah is He who makes feeble the plans and stratagems of the unbelievers. O unbelievers, if you prayed for victory and judgment, now has the judgment come to you. If you desist from wrong, it will be best for you. If you return to the attack, so shall we. Not the least good will your forces be to you, even if they were multiplied. For verily Allah is with those who believe. O you who believe, obey Allah and His Messenger, and turn not away from Him when you hear Him speak. Nor be like those who say, We hear, but listen not. For the worst of beasts in the sight of Allah are the deaf and the dumb, those who understand not. If Allah had found in them any good, He would indeed have made them listen. As it is, if He had made them listen, they would but have turned back and declined faith. O you who believe, give your response to Allah and His Messenger, when He calls you to that which will give you life. 
and know that Allah comes in between a man and his heart, and that it is he to whom you shall all be gathered. And fear tumult or oppression, which affects not in particular only those of you who do wrong, and know that Allah is strict in punishment. Call to mind when you were a small band despised through the land and afraid that men might despoil and kidnap you. But he provided a safe asylum for you, strengthened you with his aid, and gave you good things for sustenance that you might be grateful. O you that believe, betray not the trust of Allah and his messenger, nor misappropriate knowingly things entrusted to you. And know you that your possessions and your progeny are but a trial, and that it is Allah with whom lies your highest reward. O you who believe, if you fear Allah, he will grant you a criterion to judge between right and wrong. Remove from you all evil that may afflict you, and forgive you, for Allah is the Lord of grace unbounded. Remember how the unbelievers plotted against you, to keep you in bonds, or slay you, or get you out of your home. They plot and plan, and Allah too plans, but the best of planners is Allah. When our signs are rehearsed to them, they say, We have heard this before, if we wished, we could say words like these. These are nothing but tales of the ancients. Remember how they said, O oh Allah, if this is indeed the truth from you, Rain down on us a shower of stones from the sky, or send us a grievous penalty. But Allah was not going to send them a penalty while you were among them, nor was he going to send it while they could ask for pardon. But what plea have they that Allah should not punish them, when they keep out men from the sacred mosque, and they are not its guardians? No men can be its guardians except the righteous, but most of them do not understand. Their prayer at the house of Allah is nothing but whistling and clapping of hands. Its only answer can be, taste you the penalty because you blasphemed. The unbelievers spend their wealth to hinder men from the path of Allah, and so will they continue to spend, but in the end they will have only regrets and sighs. At length, they will be overcome, and the unbelievers will be gathered together to hell. In order that Allah may separate the impure from the pure, put the impure one on another, heap them together, and cast them into hell. They will be the ones to have lost. Say to the unbelievers, if now they desist from unbelief, their past would be forgiven them. But if they persist, the punishment of those before them is already a matter of warning for them. And fight them on until there is no more tumult or oppression, and there prevails justice and faith in Allah, altogether and everywhere. But if they cease, verily Allah does see all that they do. If they refuse, be sure that Allah is your protector, the best to protect and the best to help. And know that out of all the booty that you may acquire in war, a fifth share is assigned to Allah and to the Messenger, and to near relatives, orphans, the needy, and the wayfarer. If you do believe in Allah and in the revelation we sent down to our servant on the day of testing, the day of the meeting of the two forces, for Allah has power over all things. Remember, you were on the hither side of the valley and they on the farther side, and the caravan on lower ground than you. Even if you had made a mutual appointment to meet, you would certainly have failed in the appointment. But thus you met, that Allah might accomplish a matter already enacted, that those who died might die after a clear sign had been given, and those who lived might live after a clear sign had been given. And verily, Allah is he who hears and knows all things. Remember, in your dream, Allah showed them to you as few. If he had shown them to you as many, you would surely have been discouraged, and you would surely have disputed in your decision. But Allah saved you, for he knows well the secrets of all hearts.
And remember when you met, he showed them to you as few in your eyes, and he made you appear as contemptible in their eyes, that Allah might accomplish a matter already enacted, for to Allah do all questions go back for decision. O you who believe, when you meet a force, be firm and call Allah in remembrance much and often, that you may prosper. And obey Allah and his messenger, and fall into no disputes, lest you lose heart and your power depart, and be patient and persevering, for Allah is with those who patiently persevere. And be not like those who started from their homes insolently, and to be seen of men, and to hinder men from the path of Allah, for Allah compasses round about all that they do. Remember, Satan made their sinful acts seem alluring to them, and said, No one among men can overcome you this day, while I am near to you. But when the two forces came in sight of each other, he turned on his heels and said, Lo, I am clear of you. Lo, I see what you see not. Lo, I fear Allah, for Allah is strict in punishment. Lo, the hypocrites say, and those in whose hearts is a disease, these people, their religion, has misled them. But, if any trust in Allah, behold, Allah is exalted in might, wise. If you could see when the angels take the souls of the unbelievers at death, how they smite their faces and their backs, saying, Taste the penalty of the blazing fire. Because of the deeds which your own hand sent forth, for Allah is never unjust to his servants. Deeds after the manner of the people of Pharaoh, and of those before them, they rejected the signs of Allah, and Allah punished them for their crimes, for Allah is strong and strict in punishment. Because Allah will never change the grace which he has bestowed on a people until they change what is in their own souls. And verily, Allah is he who hears and knows all things. Deeds after the manner of the people of the Pharaoh and those before them, they treated as false the signs of their Lord. So we destroyed them for their crimes, and we drowned the people of Pharaoh, for they were all oppressors and wrongdoers. For the worst of beasts in the sight of Allah are those who reject him. They will not believe. They are those with whom you did make a covenant, but they break their covenant every time and they have not the fear of Allah. If you gain the mastery over them in war, disperse with them those who follow them, that they may remember. If you fear treachery from any group, throw back their covenant to them, so as to be on equal terms, for Allah loves not the treacherous. Let not the unbelievers think that they can get the better of the godly, they will never frustrate them. Against them, make ready your strength to the utmost of your power, including steeds of war, to strike terror into the hearts of the enemies, of Allah and your enemies, and others besides, whom you may not know, but whom Allah does know. Whatever you shall spend in the cause of Allah shall be repaid unto you, and you shall not be treated unjustly. But if the enemy incline towards peace, do you also incline towards peace, and trust in Allah, for he is the one that hears and knows all things. Should they intend to deceive you, verily, Allah suffices you. He it is that has strengthened you with his aid and with the company of the believers. And moreover, he has put affection between their hearts. Not if you had spent all that is in the earth, could you have produced that affection? But Allah has done it, for he is exalted in might, wise. O Prophet, sufficient unto you is Allah, unto you, and unto those who follow you among the believers. O Prophet, rouse the believers to the fight. If there are twenty amongst you, patient and persevering, they will vanquish two hundred. If a hundred, they will vanquish a thousand of the unbelievers, for these are a people without understanding. For the present, Allah has lightened your task, 
for he knows that there is a weak spot in you. But even so, if there are a hundred of you, patient and persevering, they will vanquish two hundred. And if a thousand, they will vanquish two thousand, with the leave of Allah. For Allah is with those who patiently persevere. It is not fitting for a prophet that he should have prisoners of war until he has thoroughly subdued the land. You look for the temporal goods of this world, but Allah looks to the hereafter, and Allah is exalted in might, wise. Had it not been for a previous ordainment from Allah, a severe penalty would have reached you for the ransom that you took. But now enjoy what you took in war, lawful and good, but fear Allah, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. O Prophet, say to those who are captives in your hands, if Allah finds any good in your hearts, He will give you something better than what has been taken from you, and He will forgive you, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. But if they have treacherous designs against you, O Messenger, they have already been in treason against Allah, and so has He given you power over them. And Allah is He who has full knowledge and wisdom. Those who believed and adopted exile and fought for the faith with their property and their persons in the cause of Allah, as well as those who gave them asylum and aid, these are all friends and protectors, one of another. As to those who believed but came not into exile, you owe no duty of protection to them until they come into exile. But if they seek your aid in religion, it is your duty to help them, except against a people with whom you have a treaty of mutual alliance. And remember, Allah sees all that you do. The unbelievers are protectors, one of another. Unless you do this, protect each other, there would be tumult and oppression on earth and great mischief. Those who believe and adopt exile and fight for the faith in the cause of Allah, as well as those who give them asylum and aid, these are all in very truth the believers. For them is the forgiveness of sins and a provision most generous. And those who accept faith subsequently and adopt exile and fight for the faith in your company, they are of you but kindred by blood have prior rights against each other. In the book of Allah, verily Allah is well acquainted with all things.